Hey guys, I'm Rob Bass, and this is Not Mitten Box. Today we are doing a crossover with my man, Chris Vince, as we take a look at He-Man Steed Battle Cat. So take it away, Chris Vince. Thank you very much, Rob. Yes, of course, there's another joint production and the... The base event, I don't know. Um, the uh, Master Universe Chronicles, obviously, I host. Some fancy artwork here by my good friend Sam Moore. So yeah, we're here to talk about um, He-Man's loyal, stallion loyal steed. No, not lion -O. That's a different kind of cat. It's not one that He-Man should really kind of ride around on or anything because Lionel will probably have spinal problems. So anyway, we'll go back to what we were talking about, um, which of course is Battle Cat. Here we can see him from the Filmation cartoon. Um, obviously in the He-Man or the Master Universe art book, we can see here that's what it was kind of looked like, the Big Jim toy. Um, you did have two different packages. You had the one there now that you just saw, or you did have the He-Man Balka commemorative issue. So what we're going to do now is kind of look at the classic and the vintage toy. The classic is one on the right for you keep the score at home or you that don't know and if you don't know why you're watching this video so yeah you can see here that both of them have removable helmets you can see that the classic figure um you can actually move his jaw up and down so whether you want to have the big um snarling teeth or whether you just want to have them kind of somber or whatever but um that's the way that that kind of works so you can actually just open it up so we'll have a wee bit look of more of this in depth now. Rob will probably be looking at this more. Um, obviously it has an articulation in the legs, in the paws. Now my battle cat's head seems to always slunk, slink down. I don't know why. It always seems to droop his head. I don't know whether he's not a happy cat. And I need to sing Soft Kitty to him from Big Bang Theory. But that's not for here and there. As you can see that it just keeps drooping down. So... You can actually see as well that there's wee stirrups for He-Man to put his feet in um, on Battle Cat, which is kind of nice touch. You can take the saddle off as well if you want to do that, and you can take the helmet off, but I don't want to. I just want to keep it on. Will you keep your head up? Oh, uh, what's the matter? Oh, uh, good kitty. I do good kitty. Keep your chin up, yeah. Err, uh, yeah. Um, so <laughs> that's basically that. So I'm gonna have a wee look at a bit of art or a bit of bit of photography here that Ken Coleman's done some awesome artwork and obviously awesome awesome work um, you can obviously see how different Cringer is from Battle Cat now it's not even up to the feet of He-Man whenever he's on Battle Cat that's how small Cringer is in scale so we're going to go on now and talk about the 2002 Battle Cat uh, now this is Battle Cat from 2002 um, as you can see um, kind of some nice artwork here um, but the main difference is on that the has a missile now I, I don't think Battle Cat in any of the series had a missile or anything like that so um, you can actually see that on the right hand side here it says that you can actually fire the missile um, which is kind of weird and on the right hand side you can actually um, actually um, moves his paw down you know like kind of a stomping action um, which is kind of a unique feature there I don't have one of these out of the box, so we're going to move on to a different kind, and that's Samurai Battle Cat. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you remember whenever they did Samurai He-Man, Samurai Skeletor, Samurai Man at Arms? They did a Samurai Battle Cat as well, yeah. So this is kind of what it looks like, so we'll get that out of there. Um, obviously you can see the big giant missile, which is a huge distraction from Battle Cat himself. Uh, obviously looks totally different. Um, they have a sword there for He-Man, the missile thing can go up and down. He man can actually come out. Um, kind of, you can see how how big the saddle is with his um, legs. You know, like it's it's quite clunky to put in. Um, his helmet does come off, um, but I'm not going to attempt to remove like the the saddle or anything because I'll probably lose bits or whatever. Uh, you can actually, if you want to, you know, you can remove that he man if you don't want to put that one, and then you can even just put in the vintage he man. Which actually looks okay. Um, doesn't look out of place. So yeah, get out of here. Um, but that's basically what the 2002 Samurai Battle Cat looks like. Um, they're not very particularly great Battle Cats. Oh yeah, that's one from Burger King, McDonald's, some fast food outlet. Uh, other fast food outlets are available. Um, but yeah, there's obviously other Battle Cat things you can get, which we're going to touch on here. You can get a Battle Cat Bounce on. You can actually get a Ride On Battle Cat, which is kind of like just a wee kid's um, 
thing that rocks backwards and forwards, very much like a rocking horse. Uh, this is my five-year-old niece, Sophie, who seems to have taken a shine to Battle Cat and He-Man. Um, so that's basically it. Um, I'd like to thank Rob Bass, as always, for bringing me on. And hope you've enjoyed my talk of Battle Cat. Now it's back to Mr. Rob Bass. And hopefully more Not Mint in a Box coming up very, very soon. Thanks, Chris. Now Battle Cat. Master Universe Classics really raised the bar on Battle Cat. The first steed in the line, and not only is it perfect, it's probably one of the best looking toys you're ever going to get. Now, even if you're not a fan of Master Universe Classics or Master Universe at all, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to buy Battle Cat. If you collect Thundercats, Battle Cat would work. If you buy any six inch toy line, Battle Cat works. So check out the front of the package. You can see Battle Cat inside this package. It's, it's a very massive, probably one of the biggest packages we got at the time. Flipping the package over, you get all the toys in line, you get the old bio, his name is Cringer, you know the story, we don't need to tell you about that. Taking the figure out, which really cool is, of course, just like in the vintage one, all the armor is removable, but unlike the vintage one, the first time we get Battle Cat with articulation points at this scale. The paws, the uh, elbows, I, I, I guess you call them elbows, I know what cats have. Elbows? Joints? Eh, we'll call them elbows. The shoulders has ab crunch. The head moves. The only thing negative I can say about it is that the head does tend to droop when it has the helmet on. So that's something you should be really careful about. The mouth is articulated so it opens. You can actually have Battle Cat bite people or talk if that's what you're into. When you're a Battle Cat. Well, overall, if you don't buy a Battle Cat, well, if you don't have Battle Cat, you missed out on it because it's already sold out. Go and find it on eBay, you're going to be paying a lot of money. But it's worth it, guys. I want to thank Chris Vint. And remember, they're your toys. Play with them the way you want.